Hey guys, it's Jesse from FPS Squared, and you may have heard that the PlayStation 4 has PlayStation 2 games available now. Now, you can't just stick a PlayStation 2 game into the PS4 and play it, which would be the ideal situation, but they do have PlayStation 2 games available on the PSN store now that you can play on your PlayStation 4. Uh, let me check real quick, and I will tell you guys all of the games that are available. There's only like eight or nine. Okay, so the games that are currently available are Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Twisted Metal Black, Dark Cloud, The Mark of Cree, Rogue Galaxy, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto 3, and War of the Monsters. <clears throat> so that's what? Eight total, and three of them are Grand Theft Auto games. So, um... It's pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys a game in a second. Um, let's talk about the price. The prices are a little high, honestly. Uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. All the Grand Theft Autos are $15. Um, well, in fact, all of the games are $15. With the exception of Twisted Metal Black and War of the Monsters, those are $9.99. I think $15 is a little steep to pay for these games. Honestly, I think they should all be about $9.99. But, whatever. <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to cut to a video game that I bought on here. Uh, I bought Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So let me get that set up and we'll take a look at Vice City. Alright, so here it is. This is what Grand Theft Auto Vice City looks like when you load it up on the PS4. And this is not far into the game, by the way. I literally... The only thing I've done is I've watched the opening cutscene where uh, you get ambushed at the docks over the drug deal. Um, there's no updated controls or anything, like, it is pure, it is, it is the same thing as the PS2 game. Uh, so for example, like, R1 right now is aiming, and I'm pressing circle to shoot this hobo. And, uh, like, so the controls aren't as intuitive, or at least, we're not used to these controls anymore. So, there is that. Uh, you can see also that the, you know, there's no graphical upgrade or anything it does play in 1080p so there is that if you want to play the game in 1080p you can buy it on the ps4 but you could also buy it on steam and in my opinion if you really want the game to look good you should buy the game on steam um because i don't know this says it's 1080p but this doesn't i don't know there's something about it that makes me not really believe that so if you really want a good looking game uh or if you really want the game to look good, you should you should buy it on Steam. You shouldn't buy it on the PlayStation, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, it's on here. So, I don't know. Let's go do the first mission of GTA Vice City on the PlayStation 4. Why not? <clears throat> you know, they really need to come back to PlayStation, or, uh, to Vice City. In the Grand Theft Auto franchise, it would be awesome to see one of the HD, uh, or the Vice City of the HD era. It would be really cool to see that. So, I thought this was the first mission, but it looks like this is just the shit that's telling you how to, uh, save the game and stuff. Get out of here. So, whatever, let's save the game. Real quick. Okay, well, whoops, I canceled it. Okay. So this does seem like it's just pure emulation. Uh, when you load up the game, it even like does the little PS2 intro thing. So I could I could totally see them maybe in the future allowing you to put game discs in. Maybe if they were maybe if they became a little less greedy. Maybe hopefully. They will allow you to one day put in your PS2 disc into the PlayStation 4. But I seriously doubt that. But I can see it totally being possible. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake. The family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. So you can see, if you're coming into this expecting it to be like a remaster or something, you're... You're going to be disappointed. I mean, the graphics are PS2. The only difference is that this does play in 1080. Supposedly. I don't even know if I fucking believe that, honestly. 
You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you. <coughs> Was anybody else. You'll be dead. I should have turned on subtitles, we got this. but I'm I didn't. Actually, I don't even know if you can turn on subtitles in this game. Sometimes they pop up without you even asking for them, and other times they don't. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go do this first mission here. Oh yeah, there's a loading time in between going out to the hotel and onto the beach right in front of you. All right, so let's see. Yep, X to drive, square to, or X to accelerate, square to break. That's the drive controls. Um, yeah, totally. Like, if you want this game to look good, like this popping and stuff, I don't remember that being an issue on the Steam version. I don't know. I don't know for sure though. Okay, so instead of just giving you like a free aim control of the camera back then, they would do L2 would look that way, R2 would look that way. If you press both of them, you would look behind you. It's crazy. It's crazy how you don't remember how terrible these games controlled really either until you start playing them again. Of course, at the time they didn't play terribly, but in hindsight, they were terrible controls compared to what we have today. Unfortunately, these first missions aren't really action-packed, but I think I by now, you know, you this you understand. Most people the know the story of Vice City and, this is a disaster. and how it so plays, strange. mainly. These gorillas, listen to me, are going to come down here and rip my head off. It's ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, <clears> now what the hell are we going to do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're going to do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way. I told not you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the first you know, mission where you go to I mean, no the offense, boat but I think and you meet Mercedes and like all those people. With the way I'm dressed. Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I you meet you. uh He'll make you look respectable. Just all the characters in this game. Who the guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. Uh oh yeah. Okay, you gotta go get a new outfit. Okay, you know what? Let's get on a faggio. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, God. Wow, I can't believe I didn't get a wanted level for uh, hitting that cop there. Now, if you thought that was going to be like GTA 5 and I was going to go get to, get to individually pick out my outfit, you were mistaken. You just go up to that little icon nice and it gives you an entire outfit <clears throat> that you don't get to pick at all. Oh, right. I can kill that guy. I remember, I can kill that guy and take his bike. So let's do that. Mm -hmm. And that's my bike now. You don't actually have to kill him, but I'm psychotic, so I always kill him. Alright. So let's go. Wait, well, actually, let's go get this gun for one thing. Okay, 
cool. Now let's go meet the gang. You know, going back and playing this, it really like, or really any old PlayStation 2 game or game from that era in general, it really makes you realize um, just how much video games have changed. Like I was just talking about this with Tristan and some other people. Uh, like, you know, you remember these games with like today's game mechanics and today's graphics and stuff, and then like when you go back to it, it's like holy shit! Like it's it was totally different, like in terms of graphics, like it wasn't nearly as good as you remember. Like the pop in is insane, like the draw distance is low. Uh, control wise, it was crazy how we even dealt with those controls. In the first place, sure they were the standard back then, but they were so bad, it's crazy that they ever became the standard. But it really is crazy how you remember games like relative to what they've become. So there she is, there's Mercedes. That's our congressman Alex Shrub with rising silicone star Candy Sachs. And have you met my lovely wife Laura? Oh, that guy, I remember well, him. Unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And then there's and the chick there, with the, we have the little Vice bikini. Star Titan, BJ. The cowboy oh, dude. The I blocked down. You know, I remember <laughs> playing this game <laughs> back when I was really well, young. Well, and his mission where you had to put drive those fucking helicopters. And like, you had to drive the, like the little RC helicopters and take them around the building and drop the bombs. Those were the worst missions. And I'm pretty sure that back when I was younger, that's like where I stopped playing the game because it was just too hard for me to do. It was too hard to control those damn RC helicopters. There's the filmmaker, dude. Holy shit. When the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And then there's that little guy. I would show the mission where you go up to... I think it's that guy anyway. It actually might be another guy. It's another guy. But I would show the mission where you get the chainsaw and you get to chainsaw the dude. It's actually really early into the game. But unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have time to do that. Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ricardo is like one of the. He's one of the higher ups. I think he's the guy you kill to get the mansion. I can't remember. All right, so let's take Mercedes home, and then we'll, we'll call it. So, also, you may notice, for example, uh, talking about how games have changed, I totally forgot that in Grand Theft Auto, it used to not give you a waypoint, and you just had to, you know, kind of line it up and try to figure out which roads to take. Totally forgot, and I keep pressing L2 to break, in case you didn't notice. Alright. So, okay, there we go. I'm sure you will. There you have it. Once you pass a mission, you know, you get a hundred bucks. There's not a lot to do with money in this game, really. It's kind of crazy, like, how much money you would end up getting and, like, how little stuff there is to do. It's not like there were upgrades or anything to buy. There were weapons to buy, but that's it. Um... So yeah, that's Vice City on PlayStation 4. That's also, uh, you know, hopefully this video serves as a good, you know, uh, benchmark or something as to how most of these games will behave. I haven't played any of the other games. I've only played this one because they're expensive as hell. I mean, they're not cheap games. So, uh, so far I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, it performs exactly the way you'd expect it. Play PlayStation 2 games on your PS4. Uh, I imagine that the other ones are similar so uh yeah that's gonna do it for me i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next time hey guys it's jesse again i just wanted to mention quickly uh there are trophies in these versions of the game i forgot to mention in the original recording 
but there are trophies in the PS4 versions of the PlayStation 2 games that are currently available. I'm pretty sure all of the PlayStation 2 games that are currently available on the store and to play on the PS4 have trophies. And if you look, you can see that GTA Vice City even has a platinum you can get. So I just wanted to mention that really quick. Uh, and now that that's it, I'm pretty sure I've covered everything. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.